Hi Taurus, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to your reading. Now let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and I've meditated on the cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. And if this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up and then leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube. And thank you for supporting other tarot readers on YouTube as well. I am now accepting personal readings, so if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, all you have to do is click on the link in the description box down below. Ace of Swords as your overall energy, Taurus. Alright. Okay. The Death card. The Five of Swords. And then the Star. There's a lot of swords here. So you could be dealing with an air sign, very prominent Aquarius. All right, the world card and the star card, very prominent Aquarius. Or maybe you're dealing with someone who is an air Aquarius, Pisces, cusp. Take it out, resonates. Take it out, resonates. All right. But Scorpio underneath the deck. No, not Scorpio, Taurus, because I was looking at the death card. Sorry, Scorpio. Taurus, underneath the deck is the Ace of Pentacles. Maybe for some of you, you've started a new job, all right? But uh, I'm getting, if it's about love, you're waiting for someone to offer that solid and stable commitment that you've always, always been wanting for them to offer, all right? But your overall energy for this reading is the Ace of Swords. A truth is about to come out, all right? Whatever the, this truth is, it's not going to set you back. It's going to move you forward, but in a different direction than you wanted. This truth is going to make you successful, all right? Successful in a way because, well, you always have a choice, but I'm getting when you choose to move forward in another direction, you will succeed. You will succeed, all right? Our truth is about to come out. Whatever this truth is, I have to say, it's sudden death. It's going to really cut this connection between the two of you. I'm getting intuitively, you know. Intuitively, you know. You know? For some of you, once you know this truth, you're going to cut this connection off. You're going to block this person. You're not going to give them a second chance. Right? You're not going to give them a second chance. Hmm. Okay. With the Five of Swords to the World card, they've been... This is someone who has been pretty selfish, right? Pretty selfish. Um, a lot of self-serving... Self-serving actions, self-serving intentions, all right? Could be someone from a distance from you, all right? I'm getting for some of you, you could be traveling with this person, but you're leaving them alone, or you're going to break up during that travel. You're going to find out something, and you understand that this isn't the person that you loved, or this isn't the person that you... Uh, they're a different person than you thought they were. Just 
take it out of resonance. You're just gonna leave them. You're, look, you're looking at them and I'm gonna escape this. I'm, just, I'm gonna escape this person. <laughs> take it out resonates. It's kinda, kind of a specific reading for you, Taurus. With a star card to the King of Swords. All right. You know, the reason why you had to go through that ending is because the universe is about to grant you that wish. But of course, after through after you go through that inner healing, that healing, right? That star hasn't been granted. That wish hasn't been granted. Even if you thought that it has been granted with this person, it's not. It's about to come in. But you go through healing first. All right. Whoever is coming in could be an air sign. Take it out. Resonates. But this is someone who has plans for the both of you. This is someone who, who is strategic, open to communicating with you. Tells you how they really feel about you. All right. That's good. Could be you could be meeting this person while you travel as well because the King of Swords is an international card. Could be another culture, could be from another country. Take it out, resonates. Alright, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Alright, Nine of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. And then you have the Magician, and then the Three of Pentacles. It's still, it's still the same thing. The cards are still saying the same thing, all right? You're moving away from someone who has been deceiving you, has been manipulating you, all right? You'll be single for for not so long, but you'll be single because you're going to work on yourself. You're going to work on your money, your career, yourself, all right? And you're going to manifest the right person, someone who is going to put in the effort, willing to, you know... Um, build a solid sound a solid foundation with you and someone who's willing to build a solid foundation for you, with you willing to work on this relationship with you you're leaving the old person behind all right You love. <laughs> you saw me shuffle the deck, right? You love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. All right. And then, last one. All right. Improving health. So maybe you're trying to, you know, go on a healthy diet or regime, you know, eating better, sleeping longer. And then recovery. So maybe you are going through something, you know, about health. Underneath the deck is listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition. Hi, priestess. So that is all I have for you, Taurus. I hope something in this reading resonated. And if it did, please give this video a thumbs up. And leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I love you all so much. I'll see you in the next reading. And stay blessed.